Welcome back to P3. Today we're going to look at differentiating trigonometric functions. Now what we're actually going to do is we're going to use uh, the rules from the last two videos, the product and the quotient rule, to help us differentiate some additional trigonometric functions. So let's start with differentiating tan x. So if I think about tan x, well tan x is simply sin x over cos x and if I think back to the quotient rule then u equals sin x and v will equal cos x. So once I differentiate u and v I can then substitute it into the quotient rule. Now remember this is v du by dx so cos x times cos x so cos squared x minus u times dv by dx so that's going to be minus sine squared x and that's all over v squared so that is cos squared x now if i think of the top i've got now cos squared x plus sine squared x over cos squared x and if you remember sine squared plus cos squared will just equal one so this top line here is just going to be the value 1. So we're left with 1 over cos squared x. And 1 over cos is sec. So 1 over cos squared is sec squared x. So now I can state that if I differentiate tan x, I get sec squared x. And I can use something similar to be able to differentiate cosec, sec and cot. See if you can differentiate cosec, sec and cot. You don't need to learn these, they are in the formula booklet, but learning them does make it a lot easier to recognise them as part of a larger problem. So I definitely recommend learning these. Now we should also be able to differentiate arc sine, arc cos and arc tan. Here's how you differentiate arc sine. So y equals arc sine x this means that sine y equals x remember arc sine is the inverse now i'm just going to write this the other way around and if i differentiate i'm differentiating dx by dy so sine differentiates to cos so this will become cos y now to get it as dy by dx all I need to do is flip it essentially dy by dx is 1 over cos y it's worth remembering or noting that dy by dx is the same as 1 divided by dx by dy now from this point onwards we also need to bring in another familiar identity and that's sine squared plus cos squared equals 1. So if I rearrange this, so I get cos squared y is going to be 1 minus sine squared y. And cos y is the square root of 1 minus sine squared y. Now, if I go back up to my original here, I can see, and I'll highlight this one for you, that sine y is just x. So cos y is the same as 1 minus x squared. And then I can substitute that back in to my dy by dx. So dy by dx is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. 
and this is very useful. Now I'll let you work out arc cos and arc ton and then I'll put that afterwards. You'll find these in the FP3 section of the formula booklet rather than the P3 section and again it's really about learning how to do the skills that's what's going to help you so being able to differentiate these rather than knowing just what they are differentiated is the key thing here.